So Danny, what kind of moth is that? This is a white satin moth. A white satin moth. Yeah. Mm. Some dye from the paper. It looks like you're um, using the silver metallic to get that translucency. Yes. Um, yeah, it can be a little bit much, so I'll usually paint it on and then um, try to uh, dull back the metallic a little bit with some white. Oh. But then again, you don't want to get too much paint on there because... Because it's supposed to be translucent. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, maintain the translucence. And since this paper is dyed red, it's picking it up and making the moth pink. So I'm going to have to go back ah, over it. You have to keep cleaning your brush then, huh? Yeah, keep cleaning the brush. And I'm going to go back over it with the uh, gel pen and um, some uh, white pastel for the areas that I don't want as uh, translucent. So... It's just beautiful. So you have a whole series of mm -hmm. these uh, guys that are on this fussy patterned paper. Yes, How did I that? Do. <laughs> That's much. So these areas, uh, the body, I want to have a nice, um, real soft feel. Fuzzy. Uh, yeah, fuzzy almost fuzzy. In, in contrast to the. Uh, Shimmery look of the uh, of the wing. The wings, yes. And I want to obscure the pattern in the solid parts of the body. Also, it's really nice. I like um, like on this one. I like how you've got the how you've done the little fuzzy antennae. And it's, I don't know how well it's going to relate in video. They're just so yummy in person, though. They're just so translucent. And the shimmer is, it's subtle, but it's there. You know, it's not there in a glittery, crafty sort of way. <laughs> Thank goodness. Thank you. <laughs> I'm That's, glad of that. You're glad and of that. Have, you know, I'm the kind of artist that you know, works with the nearest thing to my hand. You know when I want to draw, so um, so I'm not always as choosy about my materials, but you know I uh, I want them to you know perform certain tasks. Right. So I'll just never forget when I came home from house sitting that one week last summer, or last spring, and I saw that you had done some of these on this fancy paper. I was just I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, he got into the good paper. <laughs> it was cool. Well, thanks for sharing with us sure. today. Um, blog every day in April. I was just tired of myself, so I thought I would ooh, hold that up in the light again. It's amazing with the light coming. Look at that. That's almost like stained glass. Oh. That's incredible. It's a beautiful paper from Paper Arts in right. Dallas. Um, so anyway, I will edit this and get it on there. Thanks. <laughs>